First at 10, an Ann Arbor auto body shop feeling the brunt of mistaken identity. The business wrongly targeted for alleged racism of a mechanic with the same name. 7 Action News reporter Jonathan Carlson live in Ann Arbor with this story tonight. Jonathan, big mix up. Well, good evening. There are two Whitney's in town. This one says, please don't confuse us. The seven investigators have been digging into the strange case of Whitney Pacino all week. He's the owner of Whitney's Tire and Auto of Ann Arbor. His business has also gone by the name of Briarwood Auto Care, up until he was evicted out of this space last month, accused of using derogatory language towards gays and hurling racial slurs at black customers. Finding Pacino is just as shady as those comments. When we called his business number, I just wanted to know who I'm talking to. The man on the other line refused to identify himself and refused to answer basic questions about the business and the accusations of racism. We went to his listed home address and a woman claiming to be his mother told us this. Well, this is his mailing address, but he doesn't actually live here. If he's a legitimate auto mechanic, wouldn't there be a, a yeah, shop we could go to? I, I just don't want to get involved in these news things. Sources told Action News Pacino is shacking up with another local auto place. When we came knocking tonight, no one was there. Meanwhile, at Whitney's Collision Center in Ann Arbor, owner Dusty Whitney says his business is being mistakenly identified as the other. I've built uh, my business over 20 years and have built a good reputation. We're getting people calling, um, calling us racist, calling us, uh, you know, using foul language, profanity. This guy moved into Ann Arbor probably five years ago and, you know, has really caused problems ever since then. It's a lot of customer complaints and shoddy work. I mean, he's played every trick in the book. This Whitney's has had to consider changing its name. Meanwhile, we've also learned the state may now be looking into Mr. Pacino's business practices. Stay tuned. We'll stay on them. In Ann Arbor, Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News.